Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and with my channel, I always try to help you guys out just improve yourself as a person, whether it's with video games, with life, with girls. I always just try to give you tips videos and just help you guys out. Well, in this case, it's gonna be with Overwatch, because recently I've been loving Overwatch. Season 3 happened about a month ago, and I started all the way from silver, I think 1900, and now currently I got all the way up to Diamond. Now, obviously that doesn't mean I'm the greatest Overwatch player ever, especially if I got that on Xbox. Uh, I know Overwatch is mainly played on PC. PC, but I know a lot of people can't afford a high-end PC So that's why I want you to make this video just to help you guys out that are on PlayStation or on Xbox to help improve your aim Because after doing this for a couple weeks this tip that I'm about to give you I just saw a big improvement in my play style And it's no secret that it's a lot harder to aim on console than it is on PC since you have that big versatile Mouse movement and just high precision accuracy So I feel like just improving your aim can get you from whatever level you're at whether it's with gold silver or even bronze and help you even get all the way Grandmaster am I the perfect overwatch person to listen to no but I think after doing this I can just give a little few tips that can maybe help you guys out so let's get it started and hopefully we can get you all the way to Grandmaster is it gonna happen Probably not, but we can hope. <laughs> so right away before we even hop into a game, I want to tell you guys about something that a lot of Overwatch YouTubers also give, and that is going against Ana bots. The reason why you want to go against Ana bots is because you're going to turn a setting on in the game settings where you turn headshots only on. And the reason why Ana bots is perfect for this is one, because the Ana bots uh, have a lot more smaller head. Uh, that means that the hitbox will be a lot more smaller, and you'll be able to aim a lot better against them. And two, Ana bots cannot headshot you. That's the main reason reason why you want to go against Anabots, uh, but a lot, like I said before, a lot of Overwatch YouTubers say this because this is the perfect way to just warm up before a game. This is what I always do before I go into quick play, competitive, whenever I log into Overwatch pretty much. Whenever I wake up, have my breakfast, go on to Overwatch, I turn this setting on and just go train against Anabots. So when choosing the map for this, I always try to keep it consistent because every time you log on to this training method and you go to a map, you just want your brain to remember, it's like, all right, I'm going on King's Row and I'm going against Anabots here to improve my aim. That's just map I always choose but you can honestly do it for any type of map whether it's Elus or Temple of Anubis or uh, Volskaya Industry just keep, try to keep it consistent and try to keep it a map where it's not too big maybe Volskaya Industries maybe isn't the best map uh, but King's Row I feel like is the best way because there is that little like central area right next to like the statue where you can just train against these so just choose any map you really want and just keep it consistent now the real mean potatoes of this tip is where the damage multiplier is and the headshots so the damage multiplier you want to change to 200 percent you'll see in a minute why uh, as terms of the respawn time you want to change it to 25 percent so the anabots can just continue to respawn respawn and respawn uh, ability uh, ability cooldown i just keep it at 100 percent because i i just i don't want to change too many settings you can't change it to a zero percent you'll see why later on in the video but this is the key part the headshots only turn that to on because this will be less forgiving when you're aiming for the head because if you're just getting body shots and body shots you're not you're not helping your aim but if you're going for the head you're training your thumbs you're training your body, you're just training your mind to always go for the ed, uh, head and not really aim for the bodies, the legs, not anything like that. So that is the key part. Once you add the AI, once you add the settings, go into the game and let's get started with the actual training method. Lots of going on, man. Lots going on. So you're going against Anabots. Who do you choose to help improve your aim? You can literally choose anybody that can get headshots. That could be like a Zenyatta or a Mei or a Genji. But who I like to do, especially for my warmups, I like to choose McCree because McCree is less forgiving when missing your shots. If you were to choose like Soldier 76, which is also a good character to uh, improve on in terms of headshots, but he, he has an assault rifle, so you're just going to be spraying bullets all over the place. Sure, you're going to get a headshot, but are you really aiming for the head, or are you just kind of just aiming in their general direction? At least with McCree, you have to take your time, take your aim, and boom, pop shots, pop shots, pop shots, pop shots. So that's why I think McCree is perfect to help and improve your aim, especially against Anabots, because it's less forgiving. But like I said, if you're tra training to help improve your Mei, or your Genji, or even your 76, then go ahead and use ex this exact method, um, especially against these Anabots. So you finally got the game loaded, you chose your hero, and you're ready to go against Ana. And you go in there, and you're just sucking. You're not getting any headshots, you're getting like a 10% accuracy, it's really hard. Maybe you didn't play McCree before, but you're wanting to play McCree now to just improve your headshot accuracy. Well, this is going to be hard. Now, I don't want to say, oh, it's a process, you have to just keep on trying, but trust me, it takes literally like a day. After a day of just doing this for maybe one session, or two sessions, I always try to just go for 100 elimination.
eliminations and then I end the game and then I just go into competitive or I just go into quick play. Literally, if you just do this 100 times once a day, you will see a big improvement on your aim. But depending on how many times you want to do this, you could do this for 200 eliminations or 500 eliminations, whatever you want to do. Uh, just, it just takes literally practice. But again, you can also tamper with the settings. So with my McCree, it's not the same basic 65 sensitivity, 45 sensitivity. I changed it up a little bit. I, I slow down the sensitivity because when I'm when I'm trying to aim, I want it to be a little bit more slower. If I'm all over the place, if I'm just like, oh, I'm 360s all over the place. No, I'm not going to uh, improve my aim. That's just me personally. But I would suggest try to go with higher sensitivity. But if that's not your play style, if that doesn't fit how you are as a player, then don't do that. Slow it down a little bit. And also your crosshairs. This is a big thing. This is also a big little tip that I can give. So as terms of your crosshairs, I think McCree's is like a dot with a little circle. I changed it to have short crosshairs. I don't know why. It just fit me a lot better. But just change the settings around as terms of the crosshair. But the biggest tip I can give you is try to change the color crosshairs to green. So I wondered why so many pros had this. And I looked it up. And I'm going to get a little bit of sciency on you. It's because red really contrasts against green. And the enemy team, their whole body is outlined in red. So when you're aiming and your crosshair is green, it's going to be a lot more like visible when you're on top of the head rather than if you have a white or a pink or, 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 or black or whatnot. So if you have a green crosshair and you're aiming for the head, it's going to cr contrast a lot better. Your brain will sense that a lot easier and boom, you'll get a headshot a lot faster. Just a little tip that I saw and got a little, uh, got a little sights on you, got a little Bill Nye on you guys. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this takes time, this takes practice, and I know people hate that. People just want something instantly to happen like that. But trust me, you'll get, a, you'll be a better player after doing this for like a week. And the tip I can give you is press select on your Xbox or whatever it is on PlayStation and go to weapon accuracy. At first, it's going to be like 13% or 10%. I think the first time I did this, it was like 10%. Now it's at like 30%. 30%, I improved 20% in my accuracy. That means about, uh, I would say every one in three bullets, I get a headshot. Every time I go into this, I get a headshot one in every three bullets. That means two elimination kills in the full McCree clip. And I've been doing this for at least, I think two weeks now, and I'm still improving. It just takes time and trust me, if you just continue to do this and continue to do this with McCree, Sh Soldier, Widowmaker, freaking May, anybody, you will get better. It takes practice and practice. It w if you're learning a, a, an instrument or if you're learning a new sport if you're trying to get more hits in baseball it takes time it takes practice but if you do it every single day for an hour or whatever like I said in this video if you do a hundred kills every single day just one time or even if you do it for an hour you will see a lot of improvement I guarantee it if you want to go even more further and to improve your accuracy which I did not want to try to advertise a product because I'm not sponsored by anybody but you can get control freaks control freaks can help with your aiming because it's a high up on the thumbsticks and you get a lot more just precise accuracy but I don't use control freaks I don't need them but if you need them if you want to use them go and then go ahead but I don't need them at all uh, so all I need is just my basic control I use an, an advanced warfare controller to help when I'm playing Overwatch. So that just shows I'm not using anything special. I just took time and effort and practice and to help improve my aim, and it's a lot better. Am I the greatest Overwatch player ever? No, but I improved my accuracy on console, and I feel like if you did the same exact thing too, and you were a DPS player, then you'd be a lot better of a player. And you'd be able to get Diamond Grandmaster Top 500 hack. Maybe you'll be the greatest Overwatch player on PlayStation or Xbox if you just follow this little tip. So to just wrap things up, go against Anna a boss on a map you consistently want to go against. Choose any DPS character that consistently gets headshots. I would suggest McCree, but you can literally do anybody. Like I said, you can even go with a May if you really wanted to. Just McCree is less forgiving, and it'll take time. It'll take time, but soon enough, you will get a little bit better with that character. You don't even have to play McCree. I don't ever, ever, ever touch McCree in competitive or a quick play, but I knew if I just played McCree that I would improve my aim. Uh, change your crosshairs to whatever fits your need. I just changed it to little short crosshairs. Uh, but it's different across all other characters like my soldier is just a little tiny dot it just it's just your preference even with your sensitivity in call of duty i always had a lower sensitivity i wasn't the player that had uh 10 or 20 or whatever call of duty i was playing at the time i didn't have a high sensitivity
sensitivity. I always had like a medium to a shorter sensitivity than a higher sensitivity. And change your crosshairs to green if you really want to have a better like con contrast of colors. Your brain will just recognize that a little bit easier. And just take time, take practice, and just continue to do this and do this and do this. You might not see improvement right away, but it takes time. It's a process. Trust the process, and I guarantee you it'll just be a lot easier easier i i just uh, i love this this is a, gr a great warm-up this is just in my own little time my own little bubble not really stressed about any of my teammates just me my mccree against anabots just helping me improve myself and there's no other better feeling with that so this is gonna warm up to help start off your day uh to help start off anything that you're doing as terms of overwatch whether it's with arcade competitive or quick play it'll just help you get in the right mindset listen to some music that's what i always do just get in the right happy mindset to get ready to play so anyway guys Hopefully this video did help. Like I said, I know a console is kind of looked down upon as terms of Overwatch, but still, it's still fun on console. It's a lot of fun, uh, but it's not fun losing, and hopefully this will help you not lose so much. So, anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Hopefully this video really does help, because that's just what I try to do with my channel. I want you to make more Overwatch tips, so if you really like this video, just let me know. Just let me know. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video did help, and bye.